Graphic designer we have ever worked with. And and we will so we'll have an editorial meeting for number one Shimun here. We'll go away and before the weekend is out, we'll get these cover concepts coming back from Andrew. It's like and they blow us away every month. Amazing covers. But not only that, Andrew is so easy to work with. This club is really fortunate that for the past seven years, every month, Andrew has produced an issue of number one Shimbun with incredible quality and creative excellence. And it's, it's high time. I'm so glad that we're able to have a show to celebrate Andrew's achievement. I'm the president of the Foreign Correspondents Club. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Thank you. From Thank the you. bottom of my heart, from the, my tippy toes, from the top of my head. Thank you so much Thank for you. everything that you've been doing for us. The number one has been published for 46 years. 46. Did everybody know that? And Andrew has been contributing for the past seven years. So we're really, really grateful for that, putting up with all kinds of nonsense and being incredibly nice about everything. Um, he deserves a medal um, alone for being a nice person. Um, as you can see, his work is fabulous. Uh, he has an incredible amount of experience as a, gra as a photographer as a graphic designer, as an art director for some of the top publications in the world, um, abroad. Just, we are so very, very lucky to uh, have him with us. So. Well, I don't know how I can follow that. That was a rather, uh, rather flattering. <laughs> but uh, well, I'd like to thank the FCC, FCCJ back for allowing me to keep doing it. Oh, and I'd, uh, as I said, been doing it for seven years, and I'd like to apologize to the seven editors who have <laughs> lost their jobs if I, as yeah, I've ducked down. <laughs> And uh, also, just to make a quick point about, hopefully it can keep us print. So, just well, thank you all for turning up, and thanks for having me. <laughs> you are so welcome. Thank you very much. And the print media is very important to journalism, and we need to keep that going. So, please, this is uh, support this magazine. Yeah. For just one second, I would like to recognize Rui Kondo, who from TBWA Hakuhodo, who produces our ad for the back page Yay, every month. Our advertisers are very, very important. <laughs> we love them. We want more advertisers to come. So thank you, Kondo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. And if you want yes. him to do something besides number one shimbun, he might be available. Might yes, be available. Andrew, come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. I was originally a photographer. I started out as a photographer and uh, was a photographer for about eight years or so, freelancing, but I never made that much money. And I was always a magazine style photographer. I did portraits for a magazine and gradually on that magazine I shifted towards doing picture editing uh, and working on the magazine, production manager and so on. And then I eventually did my first cover design with a photograph that I shot for the magazine. They said, why don't you design the cover? So that was my first cover, de cover design. And after that, uh, gradually I moved more towards actually working in the design department of a magazine. For me, I think uh, photography is definitely part of it. And in some ways, it's quite a useful combination. A lot of designers are just designers. And when I was doing that change, uh, 
it quite helped quite a lot in being, especially being a picture editor at first and knowing what photographers could do uh, instead of just assuming we want this or we want that and then not really realizing what it takes as a photographer to achieve that. There was a, a balance in knowing what photographers could do and being, you know, actually encouraging good photography and so on at that time in the London magazine that was in London. And uh, because my photography and my interest has always been in reportage and magazines and portraits and actually the end result of the photography, the printed result, it wasn't so difficult for me. I think design was part of that. My photography is definitely secondary now. I don't consider myself a professional photographer. I just do photography to support my design work. And unfortunately, in the, in the increasingly uh, financially challenged aspect of magazines and newspapers, uh, there's a lot of not you know, people not paying, not having a big enough budget for photographers often, and are doing this to taking their own pictures, which is, is not a good thing. But as for me personally, I definitely can, I, when I do take pictures, I definitely see the end result in my head when I'm taking the picture. I, I think how it's going to be printed. In the number one shimbun, that's especially true for the uh, monthly correspondence photographs we take it's a, it's a definite style which I think of the magazines as well I think of how it will finally look on the page whereas a photographer might be more interested in the final look of the photo but there's still a, there's, it's only a fine line and it gets blurred easily between just taking what you want I, if I had the choice I would like to take I would like to use in magazines the the photographs that photographers like, they're often the more abstract or the most the more details, but these days a lot of that is, is falling by the wayside. It's not not this magazine, but other magazines go for the, the commercially acceptable type photographs. Most media uh, designers, it's hard. Uh, obviously, a lot of people want web design and so on, which I don't really do. Um, but they also, when I started out originally in design, it was a long time ago in, in actual copy and paste day, paste days, not with computers. And I worked in an art studio where you designed, and there was somebody else who arranged for the photographs ready for the design, and there were other people who prepared the text uh, ready for you to lay out. But of course, as computers do everything, then designers have to do everything, from text formatting to preparing photographs. And I think that's the same across a lot of media for photographers having to take videos and, and uh, having to write stories as well and journalists having to take photo photographs as well, which isn't always a, a good thing, but it's, it's uh, something which is definitely happening, I think. My background is definitely magazines and newspapers and that sort of thing, and I really, one of the reasons I enjoy doing Number One Shimbun is that it gives me a chance to do editorial design and to work with uh, journalists and people who are interested in the word as well, because I think in terms of design, uh, it's really nice to be able to work with good words and good articles and good stories. So I really enjoy the uh, editorial side of things, which is one of the real joys of number one shimba. But generally, of course, I, I mean, any kind of still print design, which might range from CD covers to, to posters or books, and I really do enjoy doing books. Another area that is changing as the digital age comes in more and more. One of the good things about Number One Shimmer is, is I mean, I'm really happy to have this chance to work with the FCCJ, which in Japan has a, a lot of uh, crucial stories and essential stories going on, and so we can get that into uh, into the magazine, and I can help design around that covers and so on, which which express those stories, which don't always get heard. A lot of the stories we have, uh, foreign correspondents uh, being asked for fewer stories from Japan, and they tend to be around the Fukushima and the, or weird Japan, and we can deal with more stories than that. So one of the things I like is we're working with good stories about Japanese subjects. And uh, the ability to express that is, is, a, is a good opportunity. Most of my stuff has some kind of English language aspect to it because that's really my niche. If there are plenty of Japanese designers who can handle all the Japanese language stuff much better than me. So one of my advantages in Japan is, is to do the English language stuff as a native speaker. Uh, so if Japanese companies need 
English language stuff, then I, I'm, I'm there and I'm happy to do that. But. Okay. How many chips? We have these chips.